Porsche understands this and has developed a version of its top-selling Macan that places the emphasis on lightness and agility. It's called the Macan T, and it will be available to order this spring. The T in the name stands for touring, and as such as the car is very much about driving pleasure, as opposed to raw power and speed. The name goes back to the original 911 T launched in 1968 and was revived by Porsche a few years ago on a modern 911 as well as on the 718. The Macan T is positioned between the base Macan and sporty Macan S and features the former's 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-4. The engine delivers a peak 261 horsepower and 295 foot-pounds of torque and is mated to a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic and all-wheel drive system. Porsche's Sport Chrono package, which adds a steering wheel-mounted drive mode selector, is also included. Performance claims include 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in 5.8 seconds and a top speed of 144 miles per hour. According to Porsche, the inline-4 reduces weight on the front axle by 129 pounds compared to the V6-equipped Macan S and Macan GTS, making the Macan T feel more agile. And to further aid handling, Porsche includes active dampers as standard. The automaker has also tuned the traction control system, giving it a bias for more power distribution at the rear axle. Buyers will also have the option to add air suspension, in which case the Macan T will also feature stiffer anti-roll bars specific to the model. Porsche's brake-based Porsche Torque Vectoring Plus system, designed to apply extra braking force on the inside rear wheel during cornering, is also available. Standard design elements include 20-inch wheels, as well as body accents in a dark finish known as agate gray. Inside, buyers will find eight-way adjustable sports seats up front, plus a sport steering wheel and door sills in black aluminum with a Macan T script. Pricing will be announced closer to the market launch in early spring. The Porsche Macan has become the automaker's volume leader, selling almost 25,000 examples in America alone in 2021. It's currently sold in three different trim levels, base, S, and the 434 horsepower GTS, but now a fourth will join the mix, the T, as in the 2023 Porsche Macan T. The letter T, in Porsche nomenclature, stands for touring and traditionally represents the most handling-focused models. The original T model, the 911 T, was introduced in 1968 as a lower-powered, stripped-out version of the 911, and since then the badge has only been applied to Porsche's Halo, 911 GT3 Touring, and the 718 Cayman. The Macan, therefore, is the first Porsche with four doors to ever get the nameplate.